हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड सेशन ऑफ द इम्पिटर सीरीज टाइगर रिजर्व सो देर हैज बीन सम फ्यू डेज डिले बिटवीन द अपलोड ऑफ द सेकेंड वीडियो एंड द थर्ड वीडियो नाउ दिस इज द थर्ड एंड द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ द टाइगर रिजर्व सीरीज राइट द फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टेकन इन द इम्पिटर सीरीज नाउ जस्ट टू रिवाइज वॉट वीव डन इन द सेकेंड सेशन वी जस्ट कंप्लीटेड ऑल द टाइगर रिजर्व द नेमिंग द सम ऑफ फैक्ट्स अबाउट दैम राइट सो फर्स्ट वन वी डिड बांदीपुर then the nagar hol also known as the rajiv gandhi uh, national park next is mudumalai then uh, we discuss the how in the south india it is a bit tricky uh, to remember these tiger reserves because uh, they are very contiguous to each other right then we have seen kali and bhadra the kali tiger reserve right which is uh, renamed is the uh, earlier name was da deli and she Then Delhi and she. Then uh, BRT. Then uh, Nagarjun Sari Silam. We have seen Armabad with Armabad. Uh, how is the uh, because of the division of the state that they have been divisions. So it is the largest tiger reserves of India also. Then Kaval. Then Periyar, which is also an elephant reserve. Uh, then uh, Param Bikum Bikulam Tiger Reserve. One of my friend told me uh, when he saw the video that you are pronouncing the some of the words wrong. so i am really sorry for that because they, these are the some of the words of very south indian words so i may get it wrong i also mentioned that in the video also next is uh, this one he specifically told for this one kalakad uh, mudunthure this one yeah so very southern in the august madai biosphere reserve we'll see that today then uh, valmiki tiger reserve pilibhit uh, tiger reserve in the central india dudua and uh, palmau and uh, when then we went to the western india and then we talked about sanjay no, this is still in the mp satpura so many tiger reserves in the madhya pradesh i told you also the they can ask uh, north to or in north to south and east to west can also be asked but uh, that is more relevant for maharashtra belt panna uh, panna tiger reserve we also talked about the can river that passes through it right can river and the first uh, first uh, river interlinking project is going on can betwa <coughs> then we talked about bandhagarh kanha national park the uh, bura bur singh the bara singha one of the official mascots then achnamakar uh, tiger reserve that's also biosphere reserve then uh, sitandi utandi uh, the name after named after the, uh, named after the rivers then uh, melghat tiger reserve then tadoba andheri pench and uh, navegaon so many tiger reserves right uh, navegaon sayadri bors then we in the rajasthan three tiger reserves are iskaran thambor and Mukundra, sir, is Tharam Thamboran, Mukundra Hills. You see here, Mukundra Hills. We also read that very few tigers remain uh, in that area. Okay, and Ranthambore was one of the original in the Project Tiger Reserve. Okay, so now what about the today's session? What will be the things of, when you last you have covered everything in the last session? So what is remaining? Uh, what I also wanted to cover with the Tiger Reserve, one of the few initiatives related to tigers. Um, first, we will see one of the few concepts: core buffer. then a uh, few international initiatives then we'll come to the some national initiative we'll talk about the tiger capital of india and um, then finally co tiger corridors recently announced in december 2019 uh, recently tiger corridors have been announced now you'll see the significance of this uh, the whole exercise to our exercise that we have done then finally the questions that i have discussed in the very starting of the first session why what is the relevance of this impetus series and this tiger reserve in particular so we'll try to uh, find out some of the answers using the same using the knowledge that we have gained out in the two and a half hours a very good uh, profit ratio profit to the, we say na uh, cost is less and the gain are more right so the first thing is uh, the just uh, the concept so the concept of first of all the core area and the buffer area now and the tiger reserve has only two areas one core and one buffer area now why it is important because in the biosphere reserve we have three areas in the biosphere reserve we'll uh, read in detail about that i have also mentioned it so you can see in the diagram itself the core area is where the tiger habitat is there in that no activity is permitted however in the buffer area you can see the activities like uh, it is the core area and other things are you see buffer area so other activities like uh, eco tourism temple Uh, some villages can be set up some small level industries can be set up 
right some of the you know, trophy key states can be so that's a buffer area the core area is different now that's a concept now if you see in the actual uh, actual uh, tiger reserve so if you see in this kanha tiger reserve right kanha national park tiger reserve so you can see this core this is the core area not a circular one as we always make it like this it is not like that the core area is this and this is the buffer area right so just uh, keep that in mind in tiger reserve we have only two areas core area and the buffer area core areas are generally national parks okay next biosphere reserve if we see so the three areas core area buffer zone and then transitional area now the confusions can 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 be there because uh, buffer core and transition so transition is sometimes named transition is there so people get confused that it must be between core and the buffer no just remember from the cbt something like that you can make some quotes remember core buffer and then transitional area transition area okay now uh, we come to the international initiatives before that we'll see the tiger range countries there are 13 tiger range countries so in the map itself if we count in this india is one nepal two bhutan three um this bangladesh four myanmar five this china and russia six seven uh, this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So, if you see after India it starts. Russia is there but India just. So, how you remember it? For example, you can remember it from BIMSTEC. BIMSTEC and just remember a few other countries. So, uh, you have India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, some of the um, ASEAN countries, Indonesia and the Malaysia. Okay, Singapore is not there. Singapore is a city state. Okay, <laughs> so 13 tiger ranges countries are there. Uh, the question can you get, you can get it wrong from Russia because China, it's fine till China. But what about Russia? How Russia is there? But Russia is in the tiger range because of the, because it's a very large country, right? So, in some of the reaches of the upper reaches, uh, in the China touching region, that area is considered in the tiger there, tiger, some of the tigers there. Okay. So, these are the 13 tiger range countries. In 2010, the leaders of these tiger range countries, uh, in tiger range countries, have come for the international, uh, assembled international forum known as the Tiger Summit. Like the Rio Summit is known as the Earth Summit, this is the Tiger Summit in the St. Petersburg in Russia to adopt a St. Petersburg declaration on tiger conservation and then they come up with a global tiger recovery program that we will do something something and we will conserve the tigers. Now what the target they have given their overarching goal was to double the number of wild tigers across their geographical area from 3200 to 7000 by 2022 okay by 2022 okay so this is the uh, global tiger now we will come to glo this one global tiger recovery program so from 2010 to 2022 so what is it again the, that we have seen uh, again launched in the tiger summit to reverse the rapid decline of wild tigers to strive for double the number of wild tiger across their range by 2022 okay the same thing next next is t, t into 2 program t 2 program this program has been led by world economic forum uh, sorry, not World Economic Forum, I'm really sorry, just um, uh, uh, <laughs> I was World Economic Forum was in mind because I've done some uh, current affair class. So, T plus 2 program by World Wildlife Foundation, WWF. One of the question in one of the state pieces was asked, the panda is the symbol of which of the organization. So, it is World Wildlife Foundation. Also, World Life Foundation is very important from UPSC perspective. Very different, different programs are uh, are under this WWF. So, just uh, make notes of, uh, first of all, the things about WWF and then what are the initiatives that come under WWF, okay? So, T plus 2 program aims to double the wild, uh, wild tiger population by 2022, which is the year of tiger in the Chinese calendar. Nepal is set to become the first country in the world to double its tiger population. Uh, uh, from 1, one to 1 to 235. Nepal did really well. So, T plus 2 program is with respect to the same program um, uh, led by the WWF. Now, we come to CATS that is Conservation Assured Tiger Standards. 
it is the methodology with which the conservation the plan is there now how will the concrete things will go on the ground with this methodology so that is an accreditation system you can see cats it's a new tool for tiger conservation management so it is a accreditation uh, scheme that encourages tiger conservation area to meet the set of standards and criteria created by international group of experts and managers to assure long and effective and long term conservation so basically they will provide the accreditation to the particular tiger reserve or something so that uh, to make sure that uh, these tiger reserve are following the the criteria set by the team or not the uh, set, uh, criteria set by the international organizations or not so these are just the standards you can compare similar to the uh, the indexes the indexes made by the niti io they, they why they make the indexes what get measured get improved right these are uh, uh, this is a quote you can also write that what get measures get uh, improved so we measure the uh, the efforts taken by the different different tiger reserves what is the because we have aimed to double the tiger population so some measure have to be taken so which tiger reserve is taking which measure how much funding that should be given more funding is required or some tiger reserve is not uh, they are taking the funding but they are not doing their stuff so all the accreditation is done by this system so it is a partnership between obviously it has to be a partnership to be a very uh, successful program partnership between the government ngos and tiger conservation areas right it is a set of criteria that allows the tiger side to check if their management will lead to successful tiger conservation or not just remember that right the same uh, concept that i have um, discussed with you right so that's very important from prelim perspective right next is global tiger initiative now it was launched in 2008 so that means after before the uh, tiger summit so it is a global alliance of government international organizations civil society and conservation and scientific communities and the private sector include uh, and includes the organization like world bank and um, this global environment fac uh, facility the same target that is to aim to um, work together to save the tigers from the extension itself okay so in 2013 uh, in two, uh, so it name is tiger but in 2013 the scope was in uh, enlarged to include the snow leopards okay so in the uh, on these 13 tiger range countries okay so next is so this is a tiger and global tiger initiative in 2015 actually in 2015 world bank got the secretariat of this global tiger initiative after the snow leopard was also included in it that one of the next organization we're going to read is the global tiger forum so why we are taking this in impetus series because that's also current affairs also but uh, there are so many initiatives with respect to tiger so just to have a very segregated and focused approach towards that we just do it once and you are, now now you're done you know this as an static not as a current now you just for example you read a spectrum right a spectrum or lakshmi Kant, you read for polity and history right so similarly just read this content as a static portion not as a current portion you know all these things and you're done some initiative they'll meet again they'll do something it becomes a current affair but if you know from here the current affair burden will get less right that is the whole point of getting impetus so its headquarters in delhi and the it is the only intergovernmental international body that works towards the protection of the tigers okay so that's an only international body intergovernmental international body that works towards protecting the tigers now we have seen all the international initiatives but still so many challenges remain i've taken just this from the uh, world bank website only so what are the different different challenges remain so that tiger conservation is not done you can include uh, these challenges for example for tiger or it comes for any other vulnerable or critically endangered species you can have the similar points for example threat to their habitat and connectivity rapid infrastructure development for example we have seen for the bandipur and the bandipur and the nagar hole right that uh, because of the uh, highway development the issue was there similar thing we have discussed in the uh, october current affair also on the same amrita channel the current affair series also going on so there we also discuss the highway number also which highway number is crossing I, I am the faculty for that also so 
uh, that highway is uh, make, uh, creating problem for the highway to death. It was the mentioned. So, Bandipur Nagar hole. Second is poaching and wildlife crime control. So, poaching is still a big, big problem, right? Because many of the tigers uh, parts have the very uh, high medicinal value or aesthetic value for people. So, major concern. Next, capacity building of the people, the institutions. For example, IOFS and the other forest services, forest official, forest service, their capacity building is not good, especially in the cases where the wildlife, human, human wildlife contact is there, right? So, uh, um, they, if they are not able to work well, then the, what humans think, they are not in, as in synchronization is not there. If a tiger comes into the um, village area, he is almost killed by the villagers. There is no uh, SOP, no standard operating procedures. There is no scientific monitoring. For that, we have M strips. We will discuss that. D uh, so, that is eliminating demand for the remains a major hurdle. So, demand elimination is not there, kept uh, associated with this point, poaching and wildlife crime control. And lastly, rebuilding of the tiger population. It is also very tough, especially when the numbers are going down. Okay, so these are the generic points you can write in the mains perspective. But we are morally discussed with the concerned with prelims, so let's you can skip that. Okay. Next, we're going to discuss the tiger capital of India. So, what is the tiger capital of India? Nagpur is said to be the tiger capital of India. Uh, first of all, the location of Nagpur. This is Maharashtra's uh, um, map. So, this is in the Vidarbha region. This is the Vidarbha region of the Maharashtra. And it is the Nagpur's location. Why Nagpur? First of all, uh, Nag after recent increase in the number of tiger across the country, the central government has decided to promote Nagpur as the uh, tiger capital or the tiger gateway of India. Especially in the vicinity of the Nagpur, so many tiger reserves are there. And that is why, and they, are, they have seen the increase also. So that is why Nagpur is capital, Nagpur is given the uh, status of tag tiger capital or uh, the tag tiger gateway. If you see the if the location Nagpur was there, right? So, Pench is there, Boar is there, Tadoban, Heri is there. This location is wrong, I told you, right? This is Naveg on Azirika is there. So, the question can come that how many tigers are like which in the vicinity of the Nagpur. Why? Because Nagpur is the tiger capital of India. In that context, the question can come, okay? So, these four to five uh, tigers are in the vicinity of the Nagpur. The question can also come that uh, arrange the tiger reserve from the distance from the Nagpur. For example, Nagpur, the distance, for example, they will give Panna, they will give Kanha, they will give uh, Ranthambor, they can give male heart and boar to confuse, right? So, if you have done all the locations right and the homework I have given you in the very first class that you should have an India map with the with the maps uh, maps of the state uh, marked up and just put all the locations in by your own self don't just look at the video do it also on yourself right it will hardly be one hour exercise and you'll get a lot of returns from it return on investment is very high okay so these are the as i discussed in the vicinity pench tadoba andheri uh, nazarika are there right so that is the tiger capital of india now with next uh, we discuss two things project tiger and the NTCA. So, NTCA it is written a statutory body under the MOFCC. Right. First, we see Project Tiger. So, it was launched in 1973 for in situ conservation. So, in the homework, just uh, see very easy concept in situ versus, versus ex situ conservation. What are the different different uh, ways of in situ and ex situ? UPSC has asked question in the 2016 or 2015, they have asked the question on in situ and ex situ conservation. Very easy question. So, Project Tiger coverage has increased to 50 tiger initially started with the 9 as we have discussed. We have discussed one of the, many of the tiger reserve when we are discussing a particular tiger reserve for example Ranthambore. It was in the original 9 right. So that list you can make from the earlier two videos itself. Now we talk, uh, uh, talk about NTCA that is National Tiger Conservation Authority. So this authority first of all it is headed by the minister of the MOFCC. Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. So, national, uh, it is headed by the him. It is a statutory body. Obviously, it is under, as, as you discussed, uh, right, under the uh, 2006 and which is the statute for it, that is Wildlife Protection Act, WPA. 
सो प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर वॉज फ्रॉम नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री टू टू थाउजेंड सिक्स अंडर अ बॉडी विच वॉज नॉट ए स्टेटरी बॉडी देन इट वॉज गिवन स्टेटरी स्टेट इट वॉज टू थाउजेंड सिक्स एज एटरी बॉडी अंडर वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट प्रेजेंटली इट इम्प्लीमेंट्स मेजर टाइगर कंजर्वेशन इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर टाइगर कंजर्वेशन प्लान ओके नाउ वी गो नो टॉक अबाउट एम स्ट्रिप्स एम स्ट्रिप्स द क्वेश्चन आल्सो कम ऑन यूपीएससी सो व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ एम स्ट्रिप्स टू ट्रैक अपलोड एंड जियो टैगिंग इमेज ऑफ द टाइगर सो दैट द काउंटिंग कैन बी डन देयर मॉनिटरिंग कैन बी डन मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ द टाइगर्स कैन बी डन राइट सो व्हाट इज एम स्ट्रिप्स द फुल फॉर्म इज मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम फॉर टाइगर्स इंटेंसिव प्रोटेक्शन एंड इकोलॉजिकल स्टेटस मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम फॉर टाइगर्स इंटेंसिव प्रोटेक्शन एंड द इकोलॉजिकल स्टेटस a mobile monitoring system for the forest guards they are given a mobile app so that they can do all the things launched by ntca and popular slogan is tp into 2 to double the tiger in the wild okay so uh, mr patrolling outside tiger reserves now imperative so now till now mr strips uh, was was being implemented in tiger reserves only and government has come up that from 27 uh, this one you can see the date also from 2019 march they have issued an advisory to all the field directors making application all the tiger bearing forest just one second uh, just yeah uh, all the tiger bearing forest outside the reserve for example many of the tigers are inside the reserve some are out in tiger ranges very small tiger so m strips will be applicable to all the places now where the tigers are found right so very quickly uh, this video i told uh, in the start that will be a very small video will not be a very large video like the earlier ones we have discussed about the international we discussed about the uh, the concept the international initiatives and then some of the national initiatives right now we go to the uh, very good topic uh, that um, good concept government for the conservation of tigers a tiger corridors so very recently government has notified 32 tiger corridors we will see that so more tiger risk corridors please what is the concept tiger corridor means this is one tiger reserve this is other tiger reserve or range so corridor is made uh, so that tiger can go from here to there he will not go for example there is a infrastructure project right so i have discussed in one of the videos about tiger corridors so the tiger can go seamlessly between from this place to this place so that if it does not come on the highway and it get killed also the highways can also be built for example this this way tiger corridors are built and this way the road goes the 3d image i'm trying to make i'm not very good at arts but still so this way that uh, the road is going on and this uh, and uh, this is the tiger corridor okay so government maps 32 tiger corridors and develops conservation plan and the date is 5 january 1929 5 december 1929 so very recent very specific for your prelims uh, uh, 2020 okay now first of all they have notified the 32 tiger reserves so um, we'll see that in the in the shivalik plains and gangetic plain rajaji corbett so if we see rajaji corbett here so rajaji is here corbett is here so one corridor is this next uh corbett and dudua and then dudua and kishan uh, kishanpur and katarnia ghat katarnia ghat is i told you near bahrain right so you this you can see this one one corridor and this other corridor right in the central india and the eastern india now you also see the significance why have divided into india into five uh, zones so so that your uh, mapping can be very easy right for example first one uh, ranthambore kuno and madho ranthambore kuno and madho so you see this one ranthambore kuno and madho next is you can see from here also no need to go there next is bandhavgarh बांधवगढ़ एंड चमाकर यू सी सेकेंड वन दिस इज बांधवगढ़ एंड दिस इज अचमाकर सेकेंड थर्ड वन इज बांधवगढ़ संजय धुबरी दिस वन फोर्थ वन इज गुरु घासीदास वी हैव डिस्कस गुरु घासीदास रिमेंबर पलमाऊ गुरु घासीदास पलमाऊ नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ वन कान्हा अचमाकर दिस वन ओवरलैप विल बी देयर एंड वॉट यू नीड टू नो यू डू नॉट नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस कॉरिडोर यू जस्ट नीड टू रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट टू वीडियोज दैट्स इट just also you can google some of the things that are not mentioned in those for kuno kuno is not q k u n o that is not uh, in your uh, tiger reserves right because that's not tiger reserve but still corridors are made because so as to give a contiguous areas to the tigers similarly we will see kanha pench 
कान्हा पेंच यू कैन सी पेन सतपुरा सेवन नंबर एट नंबर यू कैन सी कान्हा नावे गांव वेरी बिग कॉरिडोर इज देयर ट्राइंग टू मेक नाइन्थ वन इज हेयर इन छत्तीसगढ़ टेंथ वन इन द उड़ीसा टू सागर टाइगर सिंबली पाल एंड सतकोशिया सो दे ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अ कॉरिडोर एमंग दम नेक्स्ट इज इलेवेंथ वन नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व इज सयाद्री यू कैन सी हेयर इट्स इन दस्टर्न घाट एरिया so we have covered all this in the map itself so that's a very good map in the hindustan times i come up with a very good map i like this map so in this uh, you can revise all the tiger reserves also and the tiger reserves can also be uh, mapped here tiger corridors so in the western ghats we have sayadri uh, Ra radhagiri and uh, goa dandeli and shi and uh, shavarati valley kudre mukh and bhadra nagar hole and pushpagiri tala kaveri so this thing for example pushpagiri tala kaveri you can google it and the, see the image of the wildlife sanctuary of the national park wildlife sanctuary is there so nagar hole bandipur madipur vanad we have seen that ha na very contiguous area so again just to reiterate 19th was kalakad mudun thorai periyar this one agast malai is a tiger uh, biosphere area this one is uh, dandeli and shian shahravati this is bhadra pushpagiri nagar hole bandipur this area right so the same things that all we did just connecting them so now you see the utility why we did the tiger reserve it all became in the current affairs right the same thing i mentioned here okay in the northeast so kajiranga itanagar wildlife sanctuary kajiranga and karbi anglong kajiranga and nameri kajiranga orong kajiranga uh, papumpan baksa uh, manasan baksa so you can see here uh, for example this is kamlang and uh, namdafa right this is uh, kajiranga from kajiranga so many you see 1 2 3 here so many from nameri orang itanagar wildlife sanctuary associated with this i have zoomed the image so that you can see the images very clearly in the video itself right uh, you should make uh, try to make the small small diagrams of northeast also if you want to make a detailed map you can do that also okay so all the tiger corridors 30 50 tiger reserves we have read all the 50 tiger reserves all the 32 corridors have 50 tiger reserves and some of them also have the uh, nearby wildlife sanctuaries okay this is again manas baksa pakke kamlang kan kanetale valley right so this is the same thing baksa jaldapara if this one jaldapara we have not covered baksa we have covered because that's a tiger reserve it's not a tiger reserve right and we are not going to we are not supposed to cover all the wildlife sanctuary but if you want to prepare few wildlife sanctuary pick up the wildlife sanctuary from here because that's given in the government documents and uh, that's it don't do too much we, uh, spend your time very judiciously for example eat another wildlife sanctuary it is mentioned right <coughs> so that is the uh, second last section and now we come to the very last section we have covered all the tiger corridors just uh, just to reiterate the importance we'll discuss a few previous year question that we have mentioned in the very first class and that will be the end of session only 35 minute video 35 40 minute video will be there so first pakhoi tiger reserve pakhoi wildlife sanctuary it's a tiger reserve so we have read we have also discussed this question so renamed this pakke was renamed pakke was renamed as pakhoi so just remember pakhoi is named for example similarly dadeli and dandeli and she is also known as kali so many of the places old book especially the old books that have not been updated th those books contained the name dadeli dandeli and shi but that name is changed to kali tiger reserve right so just remember the changed names so answer was arunachal pradesh next question is which of the following are the protected area which are the declared tiger reserve so we know bandipur we know bitarkanika we have not read manas we have read sundarban we have read so answer will be 1 3 and 4 right So one, three, and four will be your answer. Bitter Kanika, we have not read, but I've told you the location of Bitter Kanika. That's a very important location for national park perspective. If you'll find time, we'll have some of the. We have covered the tiger reserves. We'll cover also the most important national parks also. For example, I've discussed Hemis, Dachigam, uh, Gir National Park, the Bitter Kanika. Few of them that are not the tiger reserves, but those are important. Okay. Next, M strips. Very easy question. 2017 question. Uh, is th sometimes in news in the context of maintenance of tiger reserve very easy very easy question now it is maintenance of tiger reserve right next question is from that was a tough question when it came from the ecological point of view which of the very good tough question 
विच आर दूम इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ गुड लिंक बिटवीन दी ईस्टर्न घाट एंड वेस्टर्न घाट नाउ यू सी इफ यू डू नॉट रीड सत्यमंगलम टाइगर रिजर्व टू मच राइट बट इफ यू नो द लोकेशन ऑफ सत्यनंगलम टाइगर रिजर्व यू गेट टू नो एंड नागर होल इज इन दस्टर्न घाट राइट This series does not promise you will get the answer right, but you can eliminate many options. For example, you know this sexy is wrong. If you know the hills location, you know the land. Nalla Mala is also not there, and we will read biosphere reserves. So your better series will solve with this question. And also, if you have a tiger, Sakti Mangalam tiger reserve correctly, so we have discussed that. You see, Sakti Mangalam is a significant wildlife corridor in the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve between the Western Ghat and the rest of the Eastern Ghat. So it gives you clue. and even if you just revise that and your work is done right it is a genetic link for, for all the other things so eastern ghat the western ghat and the eastern ghat satyamangalam tiger reserve can be said to be the ecological what was the question which of the following importance in being the good link between the eastern ghat western ghat the same genetic link what i talked about right okay so this is how your uh, tiger reserve and impeta series can help you so the answer will be satyamangalam tiger reserve okay next is which of the following are in the agasthi malai biosphere reserve so which are the following in the agasthi malai biosphere reserve so now we for example first of all we need to know the location of agasthi malai biosphere reserve i have discussed many times so it is the southern most nilgiri is here agasthi malai is here right so now try to we'll try to give the logic first we'll try to eliminate so uh we have read how many tigers are we have read this is a very tough question uh, this year's question very tough I, i'm telling you kalakkad mudumalai tiger reserve we know and we have seen that it can be right i do not know because i do not know the location of this i do not know the location of this i do not know the location of this so this can be right okay potential right mudumalai uh satyamangalam but satyamangalam is in we have read it is in the uh, nilgiri area so it cannot be right that means second option is wrong next we have read about uh, this kaval and this uh, wildlife sanctuary nagarjunam sarisalam oh that's in the andhra pradesh how can it be so south so that that means that is also wrong so that means you have eliminated the two options at least you have eliminated the two options you can see we have seen the agast malai tiger reserve is there so kalakkal mudumalai we know that it is there and obviously we know satyamangalam is not there bandipur is not there satyamangalam location we know kaval location we know in the telangana hence we eliminated these two and we are left with these two <coughs> right so these two the probability if you making a guess so probability was getting right was 25% now probability of getting right is increased to 50% okay A high probability of increased, but here also you can see you know perfectly that this is inside the August Malay Tiger Reserve. So I'm not saying that you will mark on that basis, but still probabilities will increase, right? And prelims is all about getting the probabilities high of getting one of the options right. Okay, so this whole series has increased the probability of getting the tough questions right. So answer was A, obviously. Answer was A also. Next is uh, this question. You see, we will not be able to find the answer at all. But if we know Dampa is in the Mizoram, so answer one one it will include one. So at least B part is wrong. Other you can do on your own. But other will be in the current affair because that year it was asked. So it would have been in the current affairs. But if you have done the Tiger Reserve series, so you will get this right at least. Okay. so you eliminate one of the option so probability from 25% your probability has increased right now you have at least one you have to select out of three right your probability has increased to getting right is 1 uh, by 3 earlier it was 1 by 4 25% to 33% right so this tampa tiger reserve the location we have already read about the tampa tiger reserve so that is the end of the our impetus uh, first session first uh, series that is tiger reserve series overall we spend uh, with each other around 2 hours 40 minutes i guess in 2 hours 40 minutes i have shown you in the last 4 to 5 years how many questions have come up so 
cost to benefit we say right so cost is very less and benefit is too high if you get only one question out of uh, this and you get uh, two second question some of the clues in the mapping it can help you so you spend your uh, intensive time in two and a half hours and plus you just make one and a half hour on your own to just revise and just make some diagrams and you are done you don't have to do anything and it can help you it can boost your marks and that is the whole purpose of having that impetus series if you see the description in the youtube also the randomness we are trying to decode that randomness of upsc okay so with this we come to the end of a tiger reserve series uh, in the impetus uh, we will as i discussed we are still we are thinking to expand our impetus series and we'll come we'll try to come up with the uh, very good and relevant uh, series for you okay then see you in the next series thank you